what is going on YouTube welcome to the beginning of my brand new series that I would like to call carb up season I hope you guys enjoy the video thank you guys for keeping up with me and before we get started ahead of time I wanted to apologize for some of the clips there's gonna be a bit of static I've tried to fix it it was you know I was having some problems with the mic on the camera I tried to fix it and made it as best as I could but you'll still notice that static on some of the clips. Once again, I apologize for that, guys, and thank you for keeping up with me. All right, guys, so as you saw, I woke up at 137.2 today. It is Sunday. Here's how I'm looking, morning weight. You can see, still see some abs there. Here's the obliques. You see arms. Yeah, not too bad. Good starting point. Today is the official first day of my bulk. So this is just a little physique update of where I'm starting. So you guys can see me throughout my growth. And then I'll show you my legs and my back in just a minute. There's a little side view of how I'm looking. Once again, guys, this is only a physique update because I am starting my bulk. So today is the official first day of my bulk. Starting weight is 137.2. And here are how the legs are looking. Yeah, that's it. See you guys later. All right, guys. So first things first, every morning when I first wake up, I always down a whole water bottle. You know, as soon as I wake up, I usually start drinking it. And then another thing, it was Saturday last night. I did go out and have a couple drinks, but I woke up feeling good. And uh, I'm pretty sure most of that had to do with this right here. So this is a cut a rug by Beast Mode Jones Pump Chasers. You take two of these of these pills before you go out to drink and then two before bed with a water bottle each time. And you're supposed to wake up good. I do feel good, so I'm pretty sure those pills helped out a lot. So if you guys ever go out drinking on a Saturday or anything like that, I recommend getting some of those pills. Also, it is um, Sunday, so on my weekends, what I like to do is I usually uh, stick to macros but I'm more lenient with the foods that I have. So I am gonna have two servings of this, uh, what is it, chocolate toast crunch with some milk, of course. I have two servings of this pre-workout. I am having a push day. Usually Sundays I start a push, push pull legs program. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, cur current macros for this bulk, wow, I can't even talk this early in the morning. Current macros for this bulk are gonna be 400 carbs, 90 fats and 160 grams of protein and those are my beginning macros to start off this bulk let's get it all right guys so this is my early morning ritual as you can see i have my uh cereal here about to enjoy this and then also i'll watch a new episode of uh, dragon ball super so i watch this episode while i while i eat my pre-workout meal and um, i hit a workout right after so i'll show you guys what i'm doing today all right guys so it's been like an hour and a half from uh when i when i ate breakfast my pre-workout meal so I'm about to start training. These are the two supplements that I'm going to use today. So this is the pre-workout Ghost Legend Red Berry flavor. I got a scoop of this in my shaker cup and two scoops of their pump product. So this is the Ghost Pineapple Pump. And I always...
like to stack these two flavors together. I think they taste really good together. So like I said right now, I have two scoops of pump in here and one scoop of that pre-workout. So it's a uh, red berry and pineapple flavor in here. And yeah guys, those two flavors taste really good. So I'm gonna hit a quick push workout and um, I'll be right back with you guys to show you what I'm having post workout. All right guys, almost done. Just wanted to show you guys this great pump I got going on. These shoulders. I mean, come on guys. That chest. Oh. Just finished a push workout. I'm about to drink my protein shake. I got um, one scoop of protein here, whey isolate, and I have one cup of frozen strawberries, 100 grams of banana, and some creatine. So I'm about to drink this, and then I'll take you guys to show you my next meal after this. All right, all right guys. So I'm about to have another meal here, or you could call it a snack. Got uh, three slices of this uh, raisin. Cinnamon raisin Ezekiel bread and a whole serving of uh, peanut butter All right guys, so back at it again. This is my second meal besides the protein shake, but I wouldn't call that a meal um, I have two sloppy joe burgers. So I got them on a uh, two whole wheat organic buns I use 96 14 ground beef and then I use two of the ultra thin slices of Sargento's these right here. I also have Two servings of sweet potato there to go with it. Uh, these are the sweet potatoes that I use. They're uh, Alexia sweet potatoes. Real good macros on these. For every three ounces, there's only five grams of fat, 24 carbs, and one protein. There you go. And then for something sweet, I'm gonna have two of these acai bars as well. They're frozen bars, uh, organic acai, dipped in uh, dark chocolate, uh, frozen bars, uh, like I said. So for my sweet tooth, I'm gonna have two of these. And that's it, I'm gonna add some of this no sugar added Hanes ketchup to my fries, and then get some pickles as well for my burgers. And this is going to be one of my biggest meals for today. And then I'll show you what else I'm having after this. All right, guys. So it's uh, Monday morning. I didn't record my last meal last night just because it was so late. And, you know, I was trying to get to bed quick. But I am going to show you what I had before bed last night. So last night when I got home, I had half a cup of this Greek yogurt with half a cup of red grapes i also had one of these warm bars just to make sure i hit my protein in intake for the day so one of these so peanut butter pie actually really good if you love peanut butter like me and i have about i had about a serving of uh this peanut butter here so i ate that and i went straight to bed um but since there wasn't so much food last night just because on Sundays I typically just tend to have two big meals after the shake um, I will record what I'm having to eat on a Monday so whatever I eat today whatever I record for you guys that's what I usually tend to eat from Monday to Fridays so uh, yeah I'll be right back with uh, today's breakfast all right guys so like i said it is monday morning this is what i'm having for breakfast i'll take you through a full day of eating today just because on my sundays or saturdays i typically just tend to have like two big meals per day so here's what i'm having for today i've got three slices of this ezekiel bread here which is a cinnamon raisin it's like 18 carbs per slice I have a full serving of the natural creamy peanut butter and then one and a half servings of some Smucker's natural jelly, just the Concord grape. Got the toast, extra toasted because I just love my toast nice and crunchy. And on that third slice there, I just have some, I cannot believe it's uh, not real butter spray. So, and I do say extra toast because I, extra toast my toast <laughs> here so I'll take a bite just so you guys can hear how toasted this is it's 
tastes so good so I'm about to enjoy this wait about an hour and a half to two hours take my pre-workout and hit a, a pull day today today I am doing back and biceps so I might record a little bit of my workout for you guys I might not but for sure I'll record everything that I eat today for you guys Alright guys, we're back. It's been about an hour and a half to two hours from when I took my pre-workout meal. So now I'm about to take my actual pre-workout and today I am stacking the Pineapple Pump by Ghost and their uh, Ghost Red Berry flavor. Now by far these are my two favorite flavors to stack together. I mean they just blend so well together. I mean, pineapple and red berry mixed together, you could already imagine how that's going to taste. So I have two scoops of pump in here and one scoop of uh, their Legend pre-workout, red berry. I'm going to sip on this and then I'm going to hit a quick pull workout and I'll show you guys what I'm having post-workout. Alright guys, so I'm back. Just finished up with the pull workout that I have. I actually... Caught a good pump there. Oh yeah, looks good. So anyways, I just finished the, the pull workout. So after every workout, I usually make it a mission of mine to actually consume a protein shake. It is not necessary, but you know, it's just what I've gotten used to. So what I throw in my protein shake is uh, 120 grams of sweet potato, fully baked and peeled. This, these are the white sweet potatoes. They're actually called um, Hannah sweet potatoes. I found them at uh, Whole Foods. It's the only uh, marketplace that I have actually found them in. And I find that these make my shake taste a bit more like peanut butter than what the orange ones do. So I've been stuck to these for a while. But I switch around from the orange ones to the white ones. So makes no difference. So 120 grams of sweet potato. And a scoop of your choice of chocolate peanut butter protein shake. For my shake, I'm actually using the ghost protein shake. This is the peanut butter cereal milk. There you go. And this one is the vegan flavor, the vegan type. So it's really good. Um, so I'm using this one for this shake today. And I'm also going to throw in 5 grams of creatine monohydrate, which uh, once again, this is one of the supplements that I really do recommend for people to consume. I mean, if you're going to do any type of supplements, these are this is one of the supplements that I would recommend you consume. You know, it, it does have a lot of benefits to it, and I'll get into that topic in another video. But um, this is what I'm using, straight creatine monohydrate unflavored. 5 grams per day, that's what I take, 5 grams per day. Throw it in my shake, you could throw it in your water, you could just take it just with water, however you want to. And I'm also going to throw in 100 grams of, of frozen banana. So usually what I love to do with my bananas is uh, I peel them and just put them in a plastic Ziploc bag and throw them in the freezer they last longer and this way when I'm making my protein shakes it's nice and and cold and almost comes out like a smoothie like texture so I'm gonna throw a hundred grams of banana there and as you can see I also have my uh, my cup on the scale turned on the scale with the cup on it that way the scale is weighing the cup out so it'll say zero grams and I'll just throw in there as as many uh, pieces of the frozen banana until it's giving me that I've thrown in a hundred grams. That way it's easier to weigh than just, you know, weighing it out the bag or anything like that. So 100 grams of frozen banana there. Another thing, I actually just found this cereal yesterday. Oh man, I found it at Target. It's a limited edition. They always release this cereal when it's a uh, Halloween season. So uh, it's the Reese's Puffs bats and uh the puffs are just a little bit bigger than the Reese's puffs itself than the normal ball one so it actually has a bit more flavor if you ask me but you know here are the little bat size 
puffs here. So it actually does have more flavor just because the pieces are bigger in general. But uh, yeah, that's what I do. So we're gonna do two servings of this. For one serving, it says 39 grams per serving. We're gonna do two servings. So what's half of 39? We'll say it's 19 grams, which gives you 38. And 19 plus 39, that's what, 48, 58 grams. So we go for 58 grams here in this shake. Oh, so I got 58 grams of the Reese's Puffs inside my, sh my shake as well. I'm about to blend this up. And enjoy it because this uh, protein shake is actually really good. So if you guys get a chance and you guys like chocolate peanut butter or you guys like the Reese's peanut butter cups, anything peanut butter and chocolate, try this shake out. And I promise you guys won't be disappointed. I mean, this shake is top notch. Actually, I almost forgot one more thing, one more ingredient real peanut butter. So I'm using Skippy's natural. Usually I use the natural honey, but I accidentally picked up the wrong one, but it's okay. Any, any peanut butter will do. So once again, I put the container on the scale. I'm gonna turn it on with the container on. So it tears out the whole container. Right now it's listing me zero grams. What I'm about to do is just scoop out of here till it gives me 16. So boom, 16 grams, that's half a serving. Throw that in the shake. Now it's gonna be an epic shake. All right guys, so the shake is actually all done. I want you to see how thick and creamy this is. So I normally don't pour it into a cup, but just for the sake of the video, just to show you guys how creamy this actually is, I actually poured it in the cup. Mm. If you'd want it less thick, you could add more water. If you're using milk, add more milk. But nice and thick, it's silky like like if it was just straight peanut butter and melted chocolate. One of the best post-workout shakes. I'm about to drink this. And I'm going to head upstairs to take a shower. So I'll see you guys back in a minute. Actually, wait. Alright. That's much better. Feel clean. Smell good. Nice dry clothes. Now I am going to eat another meal. Just because that shake is just not doing anything for your boy. So one thing is I do like to keep my meals already ready to go. So I keep a couple containers inside the fridge. What this one has is a chicken, white potatoes, and broccoli. So it's already all mixed in here. Chicken, white potatoes, broccoli. I mean, you know, rice, the works. I just throw it into the microwave, put some hot sauce on it, some lemon, and it's good to go. So I'll show you guys the finishing product right now. All right, so there it is, guys. Squeeze the lemon in here, half a lemon, and put um, some hot sauce. I'll show you the hot sauce I used, actually. So I used the red hot buffalo sauce by Frank's and I have 100 grams of red grapes here that I'm gonna eat as well like I said your boy is hungry and uh he doesn't get filled up that quickly you know that's that's the sad thing so I do need bigger meals I mean this is only gonna cut it for like half an hour to an hour you know but um here let me give you a close-up of how this is looking bring y'all in here 
So that's how that's looking. I hope you enjoy this. And then I'll catch you guys on later on, okay? This is um, second meal of the day. Third meal if you want to count the shake, but I don't count the shake as a meal, you know? It's basically just that a shake. I mean, I'm eating this meal like 15 minutes after that shake, so let's get it. All right, guys, so like I said, that meal was not gonna be enough for me, so it wasn't. <laughs> That's to be expected, I already kind of knew that. Um, so I'm gonna get two of these acai bars. They're uh, acai fruit bites dipped in dark chocolate. I found them at Costco. These are pretty good, so I'm gonna use this for my sweet tooth because I do want something a little bit sweet like dessert or something. The macros on these are pretty good as well. So the macros on these for each one are three grams of fat and eight grams of carbs, zero protein. So there you go. Um, like I said, I found these at Costco. They're really good if you have a sweet tooth like me and you want some dessert right at, with your lunch or dinner. This is what I recommend using. I use these and they've worked pretty good for me. I started yesterday actually and I just fell in love with them. So I'm going to do two of those. And just for so you guys know, I mean, they aren't that big. They are pretty small, but they're worth it. They're really good. I mean, if you ever tasted acai, it's, it's pretty good already. Now imagine it dipped in dark chocolate. It's just good. So I'm gonna have two of these and then I'll catch you guys later. All right guys, I'm back. I was out running around running errands. So I got hungry. Um, I got a snack here for me that I'm about to show you. So I'm about to have one of these uh, warm bars, warm protein bars. This is the peanut butter pie. There you go. This one's really good. Um, I mean, as you can see, I love peanut butter. So chocolate, peanut butter, peanut butter on anything is good. And I'm having an apple as well. This is a gala apple. So this is what I'm having as a quick snack. And then I'll uh, be right back with you guys to show you my dinner, which will be my last meal. Okay, guys, so back at it again with my last meal. This is what I'm having. I'm having a spinach salad. I got some of this uh, mozzarella fat-free cheese. And um, I've got some of this fat-free ranch as well in there. I have one and a half servings of this ranch. Here's how the salad looks. I'm also having a burger. I made a burger. It's a 96 four lean ground beef in there with a slice of some Sargento's cheese. Two slices of turkey bacon and a whole egg with some ballpark um, Hamburger buns. Look at this yolk though. I left the yolk nice and runny. Ooh, I know you like that. So this is gonna be the last meal of the day for me, which brings my total macros to 400 carbs, 160 protein and 90 grams of fat. So um, yeah, we're starting this bulk at a good macro levels. Um, also, let me know in the comments section if you guys want me to make a video on how I make these hamburgers or how I make uh, my sloppy joes on Sundays, any of the meals that I make, if you guys want to know how to make them, if you guys want me to drop a recipe video, let me know in the comments section or just let me know, comment anything, any any video that you guys want me to make, whether it's a working out form or you know a recipe video, anything like that, let me know and I'll make videos according to what you guys want and I mean this is what I'm here for I'm here to help you guys out whatever questions you guys have ask me in the comments down below and I'll answer them in my next video all right guys so this brings the video to an end thank you to all of you that made it this far don't forget to like share comment and subscribe I'll see you in the next video peace G5, G5.